Hello everyone, welcome to Go Get My Guru. In this video, we'll discuss about server side rendering in Angular and how to enable server side rendering in Angular. Server side rendering is nothing but a rendering technique wherein the web page is served on the server and then that web page is sent to the browser so that browser can immediately display some of the content to the user so how it works is assume user assume user request for some page like go get my guru.com so the request is passed from browser to the server so server actually processes this request and fetches necessary information from databases and other sources and then it populates the HTML page with the necessary contents and then sends that fully rendered HTML page to the browser and browser displays it immediately and also along with the fully rendered HTML page some of the JavaScript files also sent to the browser what browser does is browser downloads those files and executes the JavaScript code so that the application becomes interactive. The advantage of this server side rendering as you can see the rendered HTML page because server itself is rendering the entire HTML page. So user will be able to see immediately after requesting for a page so that initial page load time will be improved along with that there is one more advantage of improved SEO so web crawlers can index the content prior to the delivery so in angular 18 whenever we are creating a new project it is asking us do you want to enable server side rendering if we give s by default it creates all the files necessary for rendering the application server side if we give no then we have to and we can enable it later using some of the commands so this is the project which I have created without server side rendering enabled and this is the file structure we'll get and if you look at the body here the app root tag is rendered but it is not having any content so it is the responsibility of the browser to add the content prepare the DOM, add the content and then display that page to the user. This is another project wherein I have enabled server side rendering and you can see here there is a server.ts file which got added along with that there will be some more files added appconfig.server.ts main.server.ts if we see the app hyphen root now you can see we have some content here that is not empty so that the entire template rendered at the server side itself along with the fetched content it will fill the template with the fetch content and send the ready template to the browser so that browser need not to do any processing there only the interactivity part is the job of the browser to execute so this is immediately seen by the user so the initial page load time is increased along with that when web crawlers come across these particular content they will index this page so that SEO also improvises so I have one project with server side rendering enabled and if I run this project and go to the networks tab and make a request here you can see I'll get local host and if I open the local host you can see in the response the app hyphen root is rendering some content and if I go to preview at least I'm able to so this is what is exactly sent to the browser so that user sees immediately this content here I have another project wherein SSR is not enabled if I run this application and if I make a request to this you can see if I click on localhost and in the preview page I am not getting any content that is being rendered on the server side so all this will happen on the client side itself now if I go to response app hyphen root will be empty there is no content inside this so this is the advantage of enabling server side rendering it is rendering the entire html page along with the contents your initial page load time and improves the seo that is these are the main advantages of server side rendering if you like our videos kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the future videos thank you